Okay, we are at 2711 Edmond Street in Durham, and I'm just going ahead and uh, do a quick walkthrough of this property for you. So, time to take a look. Alright, this is the outside. We got a nice quiet street. Give you a pan, around, pan view here. This is a two bedroom, one bath. It is right around the corner from 9th Street. Let's go on in and take a look. See what we got. All right, here we go. And this is it here. All right. This house was built in the 1930s. It was renovated in 2014. The living room is nice and large. Before this was renovated, this was a real small living room. And then they had a kitchen utility room. Right now, they, when we renovated it, we took this wall. There was just a small hallway right here. We just widened this. We kind of, we tripled it basically and made a wide open entryway into the kitchen. As far as the fireplace goes, this did have a uh, wood-burning stove type fireplace in here, stove in here, and we just sealed it up and capped it off and left the original brick. We redid the floors with a, a really nice uh, a watertight seal flooring. Okay, the kitchen, uh, we Added more cabinets than what it had originally. Uh, this unit comes with a uh, dishwasher and a washer dryer as well. Obviously, the uh, stove and refrigerator. Again, plenty of cabinet space. They do have a uh, separate entrance and exit here, which leads right to the backyard which is completely fenced in. If you have a pet that's staying here, you can just open the door, let your pet roam out, and do his or her duty, and then come right back in here. The other tenants usually put their uh, dog dish right there, and they the dog came in and just started drinking and eating. All right, now we're going into the hallway here. Okay. We can go to the uh, smaller bedroom of the two. This will accommodate a uh, queen bed if you butted it right against the wall with a nightstand or you can get more space using a full size or even a twin of course. Okay, We kept uh, the original closet along with uh, the original doors from the 1930s and these are the one, two, three, four, five panel doors as you can see. And the hinges, we kept the original hinges. I sanded it down and just repainted them. Um, this part, we had to make an alcove here. And the contractor, as you can see, we had to do a little weird angle thing here when we redid it. But you do have enough space for a uh, bureau or a dresser. And then your TV will go on top of that or whatnot. But this is a nice uh, sized room, lots of space. Uh, they do have high speed internet by Spectrum. And I think that's changing now where we're getting Google Fiber or, or ATT Fiber. This is the larger of the two bedrooms. Okay. Um, this is the back end of the fireplace that we kept as well. And we just, this was, there was drywall and plaster over this fireplace, so we just took that out and made a frame out of it. Kind of gives it an old world look. And uh, 1930s, of course. And as you can see, we kept the six, uh, five panel doors here as well for both closets. Okay, this particular closet over here, um, we do got some shelves in there. And this closet is where your main clothing would be, of course. Okay. 
You got a nice rack over here to hang stuff up. Okay. It has a nice uh, view of the backyard, which we're going to go check that out after um, we're done with the rest of this house. You got approximately 1,100 square feet. Let's go on over to the bathroom here, which is at the end of the house. Okay. You got a full bath. Let's see? Toilet, of course. Smaller window, which actually gives you a nice view of the backyard as well. Uh, tub shower combo. And towel rack. And you have a little cabinet here to put uh, your whatnots in as well. Some extra storage for you. And this is the washer and dryer that comes with the, the lease, the rent. And again, another window We're outside. Okay. Washer and dryer. Now we're going to take a look at the outside here. And here we go. Uh, look at those nice birds. All right, we have uh, newer construction houses all behind the property here with a nice buffer. We have uh, the trees we kept here. Okay. All right. I'll walk around the side. There is going to be a storage unit, and uh, we're debating where to put it at this moment. So we're either going to put it here or over here. I'm thinking over here might be best, but we might have to cut down some trees and stuff. Uh, the water heater is outside. HVAC, of course, back of the property itself. Okay, let's pan over here. Yeah. Okay. Lots of space. Tenants had their bicycles in the hallway, actually, which uh, I should have taken a picture of that, but they had them right here. And they were avid bike riders. Take a look outside again here at the neighborhood. Newer houses. This one was just renovated recently, about a year ago. And then we have uh, three new houses that were built here. I'm sorry, two houses. And those are brand new houses that were built. As we walk over here, this is uh, in walking distance to Coco Cinnamon. There's a shop that's next door. They're very quiet. Over here are new apartments that are being uh, built. Condos, actually. They've already been sold. And they were ranging, uh, this is uh, 2021. So they were ranging, I think, 450, 525. And next door they had a, uh, a Wild Bill's Pizza Shop was here before this was here. And right now they're using it as the uh, construction office. Okay, right there is Main Street. You walk over here. There's our for rent sign, 2711 Edmond Street. Okay. There's a uh, outdoor adventure shop, Frog Hollow Outdoors. Been here for years. 
They do tours throughout uh, Durham, Eno River. This is a uh, restaurant. They're redoing it. Big parking lot. Bar is in here. And I think they're gonna have um, music in there as well. This right here is a uh, early start academy. Okay. And right over here, as we get to Hillsborough Road, back I left that door. Okay, and this is where we have Coco Cinnamon over here. Okay. Oh, it's getting a little windy here. But it was a short walk from Edmond. I'm here now already. This is our Coco Cinnamon Coffee Shop. To sit outside, have a nice cup of coffee. Yep. Hello, how are you? Just saying hi to everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> this is Coco Cinnamon, which is around the corner here. They have some awesome coffee here. So if you're looking for a great cup of coffee, this is the best place to go here in Durham, right off of 9th Street. They do have another location that's over off of um, uh, the other side of Durham, where Parts and Labor are, in the Full Steam Brewery off of Rigsby Street. Okay. I'll have to come back for the cup here. Okay. All right. And right over there is Loco Pops. That's your ice cream shop. And as we move on over here to the sidewalk, you just go straight down this road and you're going to hit Harris Teeter. You make a right over here, you're going to hit the... Um, Food Lion, and they actually have an ABC store there for convenience. So let's go ahead and start headed back. But that is it for 2711 Edmond Street. So hope everybody enjoyed that, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.